Hi guys, I'm um, going to do a quick little review, well more of a chit chatty sort of thing than a review really, um, or maybe you could guess it as a review, I don't know. I'm going to talk to you about Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. These are my lipstick of life, like I love them so much that I'm actually thinking about throwing all my other lipsticks away and only buying Jeffree Star lipsticks. So, I've so far in my collection got Weirdo, which is the black one, uh, Unicorn Blood, which is a really deep red type colour. Then I've got out of the new collection, I've got Masochist, which is like a really lovely berry pink, pinky colour. Which, and then out of the limited edition current range, I have Doll Parts, which is like a pinky neutral nudie colour. Um, so yeah, so when I first purchased, 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 um, the first one that I ordered was Weirdo because I was desperate. I was like, I can't spend my life wearing black. Because the thing is, the darker your lipstick is, the more terrible it looks when you've spent a couple of hours drinking tea and, you know, eating crisps or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like I do. I, I spend my life drinking tea, eating Doritos, thinking, where's my lipstick gone? It's not good times. So when you're wearing black, because black is the, like the darkest colour in the whole world, for now, um, it just makes it even worse. So it's just like, and it ends up all over your face and you look like you've got like, it's all come in here and everything. And, oh, what? Obviously, I used um, liquid lipsticks previously, but they were not matte and... They were just high street brands, so you couldn't get the the, the really cool colours because they're all just in like you know regular gel kind of colours. So yeah, uh, so the, this was the first one that I got, and obviously I am used to wearing liquid lipsticks because I've been using the Maybelline Colour Stay um, for quite some time as as my stable item in my lipstick arsenal because I can't stand the lipstick it just comes it comes off it's on your teeth it's everywhere it's on your cup it's in your hands it's on your face oh, it's just a meh it's like what I want to do is put my face on and go out and not have to worry about my face because although I am a, a you know the girl that likes to wear makeup I am not the girl that wants to spend every 20 minutes in the toilet reapplying my makeup because that's just a ball ache. So I bought this one and you can see that it is as black as Andrew Eldridge's soul. Just have to, when you put it on, just wipe the excess off. I don't, if you've never worn liquid lipsticks before, you might fall into that trap and it'll just go everywhere. So just wipe the excess off. And you can see how big that doe foot is. Now the Maybelline doe foot that I was using was half that size. Um, and it's really nice because you can see this curve here in the doe foot. It kind of hugs your lip as you put it on. It's a funny thing to try and explain. But it kind of, it just goes shoo, shoo. It's just really weird to try and explain that. But it feels really nice and it just goes on really well. The um, the applicator is fat. So even if you've got the most beautiful Angelina Jolie pout, you're still going to get it on in one swipe down and one swipe up. And because it's got this curve in it, it seems to not miss anything. So, so yeah. The other thing I like about the applicator is this. Can you see that? Bends. Every other liquid lipstick applicator I've used has been rock hard, so you have to do all the work. 
this applicator does all the work for you so hats off to Jeffree Star the other thing I like about it is when, when, you, when you shut it it clicks that's good times that is isn't it yeah man I feel that So yeah, so that was the first one that I bought and I was like, you'd think I'd won the lottery or something. I was like, oh my God, there's a liquid lipstick and it's black and oh my God, I'm never going to have to reapply my lipstick ever again. Well, obviously, ever again is a little bit excessive, but for the day, at least, I can go out and I can put my lipstick on and not have to worry about it. Hey. The second one I bought was the Unicorn Blood. Is that upside down? It's upside down. Unicorn blood. So it's really, really a really dark blood red. It is a proper blood red. It's not like it's not messing. It's not joking. It's not saying my, my name's Unicorn Blood, but I'm a bit like this. It's saying my name's Unicorn Blood. I am the blood of a unicorn. That's what it's saying. Now I've spent my whole life trying to make this colour in a, in various lipsticks. And it just never has quite worked out for me. So, really, this is the one. If you followed me on any social networking or anything like that, you will see me in this nine times out of ten because it's my lipstick of life. It is the holy grail of lipsticks. I can't even begin to tell you how much I love this lipstick. Um... The next two that I purchased, <coughs> it's gone very dark in here, hasn't it? I think it's going to rain. Um, so we've got this one, which is... Sh mm -mm -mm. This is Masochist. And this is from his new range. And it's a very sort of berry, pinky, but it's not like... Bam! It's not like that pink. It's not that pink that makes you look like you're going to glow in the dark. It's a lot. It's a it's a very wearable berry kind of colour. Um, so yeah, I can see this getting in some good use in the next coming months. Obviously, you know berry is good for the autumn and winter, which we in the UK now are in. Although I do not subscribe, as you I'm sure know, to that whole berry colours in the winter, pink in the summer. I'm just like, berry colours all year, that's what I'm about. So the final one that I got is part of his limited edition collection, which has got this lovely rose gold Jeffrey Star logo on with the white. And it's this, uh, this rosy pinky colour, which I am currently wearing. So I really like this because it's kind of like a cross between a pink, a nude and a neutral. It's like three lipsticks in one lipstick. I mean, you can't you can't take your hat off to that, can you? You can't say fairer than that. I purchased, because obviously I'm in the UK as well as you may also be in the UK. I purchased my Jeffree Star Cosmetics from cocktailcosmetics.co.uk. Um, they have a shop and they are also online. I purchased my first order with them online and that was the weirdo and it came in three days it was really super quick I was ecstatic I ordered it on a Tuesday and I got it on like the Friday or something it was just like ah! and then I discovered they had a shop which was like a mile and a half from my house they, they also do lots of other stuff um, that you might find it difficult to get your hands on um, they do a lot of Morphe brushes, cosmetics, the palettes, they do they do tons of stuff. I just go to the website, have a look and see what they've got. If you are in the Midlands or you want a day trip out or something, um, then their shop is in Sutton Coalfield and it is about a minute's walk from the train station. The shop is lovely, it's like an Aladdin's cave of all the most awesome makeup you will ever find in the world. The guys are really friendly there um, and uh, yeah so I mean like I say I ordered mine online and it came in a matter of days but if you do want to go to the shop if you if you are in the area. Anyway 
I think I've rambled on quite long enough for today. So, um, tell me, what Jeffree Star lipsticks have you got at the moment? What's on your wish list? What do you wish that he would come out with? What? Let's have a little chit chat about it in the comments down below. And um, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.